Welcome in, everyone, to our Cracked Rackets Winter Nationals Men's Singles Finals. Should be a really fun event between McCain Kessler, the former University of Florida standout, and Coy Smith, the freshman for the University of Tennessee, Alex Gruskin, editor-in-chief of Cracked Rackets. So happy to be on the call with all of you today as we all look forward to the kickoff of this 2021 season. Now, of course, is this the glamorous event of Abu Dhabi, of the action we have in the ATP side, Delray Beach and Antalya? No, not quite, but we are at the beautiful Rome Tennis Center, one of the finest tennis centers in all of the country of course they play host to the ACC championships during the college tennis season and we are we are sure to see some more action here throughout the course of the season but I think for all of us we are just so excited to be back out on court and look forward to what should be a really exciting 2021 season here at this event our players are competing for $3,800 in prize money and we saw McLean Kessler earlier in the day in our men's doubles final. Now, unfortunately for him, uh, he felt a little bit short in that doubles final. He and his partner, uh, Elijah Melendez, losing a 6-3-7-6 final to top 150 players, Hunter Reese and Fernando Romboli. But the positive note for Kessler, puts a little cash in his pocket and has the opportunity to put even more in his pocket with his match today. Uh, it's been a pretty good week. For Kessler overall, you look for him, the number two seed in this event. He has had success uh, really since the start. And you look for him, straight set win over Wilcox in the round of 16. Straight set win for him over Moreno in the quarterfinals. He wins his semifinal match earlier today and finds himself in the final now against Tennessee freshman Coy Smith for Smith. Uh, currently a 12.2 UTR, the number three seed here in singles this week. It's been straight set for him uh wins for him at the entire way as well so we have two players playing a really high level coming into this match one very fun fact about Coy Smith something you are certain to learn as we get into this one ambidextrous in terms of his play that means he can hit four hands with both his left and right hands and fans should expect him to do that in this match if you watched any of the warm-up you saw him doing just that he'll also throw in the backhand slice he'll serve with either hand as well really has every tool in his arsenal so should be a really fun one for him against the veteran Kessler Kessler graduating from the University of Florida in 2019 such a great career for him then was an All-American in doubles during the 2018 season, helped clinch that 2018 season. The Gators NCAA round of 16 victory over conference foe Ole Miss. He also was part of a team that reached the semifinals of the 2019 NCAA team event. And in my opinion, probably should have won that national championship. He's now the volunteer assistant at Clemson, but you see him rocking his Florida gear right now. Uh, he's obviously excited. A little SEC on SEC battle in Rome. Uh, something all of us can look forward to today. Looks like Smith taking a quick pre-match bathroom break. I'm sure that's something all of us can appreciate, but it also looks like it's going to be Kessler serving first on the near side of your screen. I see you see now Smith returning to the court. He's in Tennessee orange. Uh, I don't know if that's volunteer orange. I don't know the specific color. I apologize to you Tennessee fans out there, but we see Smith returning now. Again, going to be my first look at Smith. Did not get the chance to see him in Kalamazoo or you know play any of the usual fall events, given the fact that we're doing this during COVID. But Smith now back on court. We see him on the far side. It will be Kessler serving first on the near side of the court. Let's rock and roll. And you see right away for Coy Simon, he brings out the lefty forehand here early in the rally. And I can only imagine what it's like to warm up with someone ambidextrous. You're trying to get a read on their game, a rhythm for what they might do. In the first two minutes, he's hitting forehand, uh, forehands on the right and left side. I'd be like, what, what's going on here? So it's going to be interesting to see. Kessler's certain to have seen a lot of different looks in his career, but 
it's rarely, if ever, you come across an ambidextrous player. Really excited to get that look at Coy Simon, who again was, I believe, number 23 overall recruit in his tennis recruiting class, number two uh, in the state of South Carolina, was Mr. Tennis in South Carolina as well. So for Coy Simon, certainly uh, someone we will all get used to seeing quite a bit of if you are a college tennis fan, the freshman for the University of Tennessee. Early drop shot in the net for Kessler. So now 15-30 here. For all of you viewers at home, in case it's your first match watching on the weekend, be two out of three sets, no ad scoring between these guys. I don't know what to say, folks. Lefty and righty forehand, yet he chooses to hit the backhand slice on that left wing. Thirty all as he misses that forehand in the net. But if you're McLean Kessler, you're scratching your head to start this match. He's got the high forehand volley on both sides as well. So there's no bailout play if you're Kessler either. Going to have to be precise with those passing shots. Sometimes you just think to yourself, I'll dip it low backhand. That's such a sh tough shot for anyone to make. But all Simon here early on, two break points for him, 30-40. I'll tell you what, I've seen a two-handed forehand, seen a one-handed backhand. I don't think I've ever seen two forehands before, but two forehands off to an early success as Coy Simon breaks McLean Kessler here for the early one-love lead. Again, Alex Gruskin of Cracked Rackets, so happy to be with you here for the men's singles final of our Cracked Rackets Winter Nationals event you know anything about us here at Cracked Rackets, you know how much we enjoy college tennis and got a college tennis battle on our hands. Coy Simon, the freshman at the University of Tennessee, decked out in that volunteer orange, probably really excited to get any match play in for the start of his freshman season. Taking on a former All-American and current volunteer assistant in McLean Kessler. Kessler also a finalist in doubles earlier today. He and his partner falling a bit short three and six to actually another Tennessee volunteer, Hunter Reese, and his partner, Fernando Ramboli. Simon now serving on the near side of your screen. <laughs> So a couple of things to note. A, these players today obviously played in the midst of a pandemic. They're calling their own lines. You don't even have a chair umpire there. It's an honor system. Wasn't a problem at all for us in the doubles final. If anything, guys were clearly playing a few out balls. Anticipated to be a problem here. It's a love 15. But 
something I've also noticed, and this is part B of what I was saying earlier. I do think Simon's a little bit more comfortable with the left hand. You see him hit the serve with the left hand, at least thus far. Hit that overhead righty, and it sprayed a little on him. That's outstanding stuff from Simon. I do think he also hits that lefty forehand a little bit more decisively than he does on the righty side. Now, the righty side, they are opening up the court for him. The righty side. His righty forehand, can we call it that? When he hits the forehand with his right hand, he did a good job there opening up the court cross court. Used his left hand to drive that ball through the court and ultimately finish off the point. It's going to be a really interesting match for Simon here now. Drop shot going to be a big part of Kessler's arsenal today. I think he's slowly starting to identify that deuce side of the court is the one to target on Simon. Did a good job there opening up the space for that drop shot attempt. Just not quite enough margin over the net. Good to know that even with a pandemic First game nerves in a final still going to be a thing here in 2021. Another chance here for Kessler. so interesting to me a decision there you have the lefty forehanded you elect to play a righty backhand slice hmm. I mean you see Kessler his game is all about incorporating variety disrupting that rhythm of his opponent of course he's comfortable grinding as well don't rack up wins at the six singles position in college tennis if you can't grind Ryan's at the early break back. One all here in our singles final first set. No hesitation at all from Simon thus far in this match moving forward. Kessler's thrown him junk. Those short slices that just kind of land in no man's land or that area in between the service and baselines on the court. And you've seen Simon multiple times now slice that approach shot deep in the court, force Kessler to hit the pass. Big serve there from Kessler down the tee to get us back to 30 all, but Credit to Koi Simon, putting some pressure on the veteran in Kessler. 
I like what I've seen thus far. Not the ball you want to miss in the net there. And you can see for Simon, wasn't even going for a line. Just not quite enough clearance over the net. So now two game points for Kessler. Yeah, we saw that in doubles too. You give him an overhead, it's lights out. McLean Kessler holding now here for a 2-1 lead in our men's singles final. Plenty of action still to come. You're watching the Crack Rackets Winter Nationals at the beautiful Rome Tenner in Georgia. Oh, excuse me. All right, I was a point in advance. Nevertheless, it's bound to happen now and then. It is McLean Kessler holding two-game stretch for Kessler to take a 2-1 lead. You are watching the Crack Rackets Winter Nationals at the beautiful Rome Tennis Center in Georgia. Listen up, tennis fans. The new Tennis Channel Podcast Network takes you inside the sport like never before. With the top tennis podcasts all in one place. To subscribe, go to tennis.com slash podcasts or visit your favorite podcast provider. Good first point there from McLean Kessler. Keep that ball deep to the deuce side. He leads 2-1 right now in the first set of our men's singles final against Tennessee freshman Coy Simon. These guys calling their own lines here in this singles final. That serve a little bit long. It's a beautiful plus one ball from Simon, though. Mentioned this earlier, but Simon reached a high of number 21 in his tennis recruiting class during the 2020 season. Of course, he's part of that grade of students that didn't get Kalamazoo this year due to the pandemic. Have to wonder how he would have done. Simon currently a 12.2 UTR. Pretty solid heading into his freshman season, especially considering the lack of opportunities to compete these past nine months. Beautiful passing shot there from Simon. He holds for two all. 
you look for Simon right now on his Tennessee team. Tennessee, by the way, heading to NC State for their ITA kickoff weekend. They're a top 20 team this season. Simon, number 10 right now, currently on the Tennessee roster. If you go by their UTRs, number one on their roster, Adam Walton. Of course, he's a top 50 player in the country, a 13.7. Got Patrick Harper, 13.3. Luca Vindeman, 13.2. Martin Prata, 13.03. There's a lot of competition for Simon if he wants to try and crack that lineup this season. Certainly, Coach Woodruff, the Tennessee team, would take note of a win over Kessler. Of course, Kessler right now at 12.55 UTR, so... You know, by that ranking, it'd be a struggle for him to crack that Tennessee lineup. But again, the former All American in 2018 at Florida. I think he was 9 and 2 in dual matches his senior season. Loose errors, though, from Kessler. Open up the door here for Simon. A really nice one-two combo from Simon cross court there with the big forehand rip then goes behind Kessler with the forehand down the line as well that's where being able to hit forehands off of both wings the option Simon has to him great stretch from Kessler to drop that ball in but that racket on that point on the racket of Koi Simon Stop me if you've heard this before. Drop shot pass combo from Kessler earns him the point and the hold. So Kessler takes a 3-2 lead here. We're on serve in our first set. You are watching the Crack Rackets Winter Nationals at the beautiful Rome Tennis Center in Georgia. Listen up, tennis fans. The new Tennis Channel Podcast Network takes you inside the sport like never before. With the top tennis podcasts all in one place. To subscribe, go to tennis.com slash podcasts or visit your favorite podcast provider.
early love 15 here lead for McLean Kessler. He's up 3-2 here on serve in the first set of our men's singles final. Alex Gruskin of Cracked Rackets. So happy to be back with all of you here to kick off our 2021 season. I feel like this match has all of the craziness we deserve after the year that was 2020. It's not often you get to see someone who plays with two forehands, but that's what we have here today in University of Tennessee freshman Coy Simon. ambidextrous South Carolinian hits the serve with his left hand. I think that's notable. It's also the side he produces more power on, in my opinion, looks more comfortable hitting approach shots overhead with that left hand. And you can see back-to-back -back sprayed forehands from that right-handed side. It's not necessarily that the right-handed side is bad. I would argue it's very, very good. And the ability to hit, hit two forehands, the flexibility that gives you, certainly promising. But I also think Kessler has started to identify it as the weaker of the two wings. And now three big chances for Kessler here at 15:40. A reminder, three break chances as it's no ad scoring here in our men's singles final. But no ads will be necessary. It's Kessler getting the break here with the double fault. And again, it's kind of a blinking here from Coy Simon. Had been so rock solid through the first five games of this match. Started off the match with a break of the Kessler serve. Now we see the veteran Kessler starting to establish himself. A loose game from Simon. He now leads 4-2 here in set number one. Too cute from McLean Kessler. Had a lot of time with that backhand, and I know that's a tough shot to drive, but... Really good read from Simon, read that ball well, had his hands up, was ready. Again, he's plenty comfortable moving forward. And he puts a little pressure on Kessler here, love 15. I mean, the drop shot is just such an important aspect of the Kessler game. You see the way he works Simon around the court, add side corner, do side corner, has him three, four, five, six feet behind the baseline, then works in that drop shot. And then the foot speed there from Kessler, even if that lob had landed in, he's tracking that ball down. Nice first serve into the body as well. And now it's McLean Kessler, 30-15 here. As he looks to consolidate his break lead. Got a gift there from the net cord, but credit to Coy Simon again. Sees that jump ball, sees that jump ball, sees that short ball, jumps 
on it. Hey, great shot to me. And comfortably able to put away that overhead. So now big 30 all point here. Interesting to see what serve Kessler goes with. Look for the out wide to the righty side. I like that play here. Look for body on the second. No way. Ugh. Good hands from Kessler there. Better overhead from Coy Simon. You saw the way he stepped up. And I think Kessler knew by going to that right side. Simon much more comfortable taking that ball cross court. But there's too much power there. So now two break points for Coy Simon. All match long, he's jumped on the short balls. He does so again here. Koi Simon gets the break right back of McLean Kessler. We are still on serve here in the first set. 3-4 Simon will serve when we return. You are watching the Crack Rackets Winter Nationals at the beautiful Rome Tennis Center in Georgia. Listen up, tennis fans. The new Tennis Channel Podcast Network takes you inside the sport like never before. With the top tennis podcasts all in one place. To subscribe, go to tennis.com slash podcasts or visit your favorite podcast provider. Three four now. Koi Simon serving on the far side of your court in this men's singles final. As he takes on former University of Florida All American McLean Kessler. story of this match unequivocally Coy Simon ambidextrous in every sense of the word four hands on both the left and right side of his body hits a backhand slice on that left side of his body as well when he chooses to slice that ball comfortable moving forward haven't seen him serve right handed yet but you know he's got that tool in the bag overheads off of both sides as well it's very luke and murphy jensen-esque just opening up the court really well for himself the way he's able to hit heavy top spin into both wings. He's gotten Kessler stretched to the outer third. And to Kessler's credit, he's done a good job of keeping Simon off balance as well. Uses a lot of slice. The drop shot we've seen work a couple of times here in this first set. 30 love here, though, for Simon. We see Kessler bouncing a little bit, trying to take that return early. You can hear Kessler muttering to himself, come on, let's go. let's go. Even after a plus one error from Simon, Kessler knows he's just got to keep making balls, put pressure on the 18-year-old. So now 30-15 here, and you can see Kessler again looks to take that return inside the baseline, just 
force Simon into a quick decision. That's too good. From Koi Simon, plus one down the line, forehand. Great wheels from Kessler just to track that ball down, but then to have the ability to take a righty forehand down the line on that next shot. Tenth by UTR in that Tennessee lineup. I don't know, folks. I think we could see some Koi Simon this season. Great wheels there from Simon to track each of those shots down. Really nice offense from McLean Kessler. Not able to put that ball away, but had Simon stretch to the outer thirds and gets kind of caught in no man's land. There's a lot of credit for just kind of sticking his backhand volley out there. Gets good depth on that shot. And then, of course, the dropper to end the point. That's worthy of a men's singles final, folks. That's why these two are playing for the big bucks here today. Thing, I'm sure speaking for both of them, it must just be nice to have a playing opportunity to start their season. A huge shout out to UTR, the entire team, the events they have put on throughout this pandemic, providing so many playing opportunities to those players out there. Small opportunity now here for Kessler. Still another chance for Simon to get us to four all, but See Kessler really locking in here on the return. It's too good. Outstanding plus one tennis from Koi Simon. Opens up the court with a cross-court forehand approach, then confidently puts the overhead away down the line for all here in our first set of our men's singles final. And two out of three sets today. No ad scoring. If you're Koi Simon, you're just happy to be on court before you get into your Tennessee dual match season. It's going to be so tough to crack that Tennessee lineup if you're Kessler. It's a really nice forehand from McLean Kessler, who is probably just thinking it's always nice to pull the Corvette out of the garage, right? Show you still got it. The skills, the game. Had the pass he wanted. Shanks it a little bit wide.
second serve just not doing Clint Kessler any favors right now. Simon getting so many good looks to just take control of the point off of that shot with his return. And he's done a good job of mixing up his targets as well. Cross court down the line. Again, it's tough to anticipate where he's going to play the ball. That's exactly what you needed if you were McLean Kessler there. Just a big first serve to a big target. Easy plus one forehand chance there, able to hit behind Simon. That's got to be the recipe if you're Kessler here. First serve percentage really dropping of late. Another chance here for Simon. I have to say, Clayton Kessler is one heck of a mover, folks. To track down that return at all, it's a valiant effort, but, man, Coy Simon is just all over the second serve of McLean Kessler right now and has a chance here to break serve four, five, four here, and then serve out this first set. And if you're Kessler... Again, more than anything here, just put a first serve in the court. Put it on the body of Simon. Get a look at a plus one ball. It's exactly what he does there. Big first serve down the tee for McLean Kessler. He gets the hold. 4-5-4 four, four here in the first set. That's clutch stuff from Kessler. Clutch stuff serving absolutely. And Coy Smith will have to respond the favor here when we get back. But for now, you are watching the Crack Rackets Winter Nationals at the beautiful Rome Tennis Center in Georgia. Listen up, tennis fans. The new Tennis Channel Podcast Network takes you inside the sport like never before. With the top tennis podcasts all in one place. To subscribe, go to tennis.com slash podcasts or visit your favorite podcast provider. Strong start for from Coy Smith here for 15 love as he looks to stay alive in this first set 4-5 in our men's singles final as he takes on former University of Florida standout McLean Kessler Simon. Really, really impressive I would say thus far through this first set has put so much pressure on Kessler keep waiting for him to bring out the righty serve here it is first righty serve of the match I believe Maybe that's why he saves it for special occasions. Ace out wide with the right hand. You can see Kessler thinking to himself, what? You serve lefty but can do that? So we'll see another right-handed serve now from Koi Simon. I'd love to have seen the lefty second serve. Going to stay with the same hand. Yeah. I think that guy game got away from Kessler pretty quickly. Five all as Simon holds at love. I 
Again, Simon ambidextrous to do a little bit of everything on the tennis court. And it's just put so much pressure on the Kessler second serve. You see him in aggressive returning position. And how many times have we seen some form of that combination? Big second serve return from Simon, followed up with a forehand approach and then an overhead. And it's working. He is the one doing the dictating, even on the Kessler service games. Kessler, an incredible mover, has done a really good job to counterpunch, but this first set has been on the racket of Koi Simon. Now love 30, and you really do feel like Kessler's hanging on by a thread here. Simon saw that backhand drop shot coming a mile away, and I hate to say it, but I bet all of you listeners, viewers at home did as well. So love 30 here. Critical that Kessler get a first serve, ideally to the right side of the Simon body. Looking for a big body to serve here, though. So now four break points for Koi Simon here. Love 40 on the Kessler serve. He had chances in the last Kessler service game as well. Just McLean Kessler's not been able to land a first serve here in this game. It's a nice second serve, though, deep into the body of Koi Simon, particularly, again, that right-hand side of the body. Simon just kind of slaps that forehand return into the net. Now 15-40, one point, break point, fought off. Yep. You knew that forehand slice was a bold choice from McLean Kessler. The moment he hit it, Koi Simon able to reassert control of the point. He gets the break of serve here and will serve for this first set 6-5 when we come back. You are watching the Cracked Rackets Winter Nationals at the beautiful Rome Tennis Center in Georgia. Listen up, tennis fans. The new Tennis Channel Podcast Network takes you inside the sport like never before. With the top tennis podcasts all in one place. To subscribe, go to tennis.com slash podcasts or visit your favorite podcast provider.
Welcome back to our men's singles final of our Crack Rackets Winter Nationals event. It's so fun to see so many players competing here this week at the Rome Tennis Center in Georgia. Now, it's Coy Simon serving for the first set of our singles final here. 6-5 up on former University of Florida All-American McLean Kessler. And for Simon, it's just been from start to finish. He's been the more aggressive player. He's been the more successful player getting opportunities, finding opportunities, I should say, to move forward, to hit approach shots and get his opponent in the outer thirds of the court. I mean, you know you're feeling good when you're hitting the on-the-bounce cross-court overhead winner like that. Worth noting, last game we saw Simon serve with the right hand. This game, he goes back to the left hand. But it's just been such a high level of play from Koi Simon here, who is a .3 UTR underdog in this match. And again, shout out as always to our friends at UTR for putting on so many playing opportunities for players during the course of this pandemic. Have to imagine Koi Simon's 12.2 win or lose going to go up after his results this week. He He's looked solid. And now he's got quadruple set point 40 love here for Koi Simon as he looks to take the first set of our singles final 7-5 over McLean Kessler. There it is. Ace down the tee from Koi Simon to take the set 7-5. Outstanding play from the University of Tennessee freshman. He is one set away from our title, and we will be back with more of our men's singles final after this quick break. You are watching the Cracked Rackets Winter Nationals at the beautiful Rome Tennis Center in Georgia. Welcome back, everyone, to our Cracked Rackets Winter Nationals final at the beautiful Rome Tennis Center in Georgia. It was a really fun first set between our two contestants today. It was Koi Simon, the rising ambidextrous freshman from the University of Tennessee, taking the 7-5 decision over former University of Florida All-American McLean Kessler. Of course, Alex Gruskin, editor-in-chief of Cracked Rackets. So happy to be with all of you today on the first Sunday of the 2020 professional tennis season. Of course, all of these all of these players this week competing for about thirty eight hundred dollars in prize money. Kessler, a finalist today in doubles, he and his partner falling short to Hunter Reese Fernando from Bowley. Looking to avoid that same fate here, though, in the singles final, he'll serve first on the near side of your screen. With that in mind. Let's let this second set rock and roll. And look, there's no easy way to say this. For McLean Kessler, he's going to need to see more of that this set. He's going to need Koi Simon to make a few more errors because simply put, in that first set, it was all Koi Simon. And that was the recipe. Too many missed first serves for Kessler down the home stretch of set number one. Simon doing such a good job taking that second serve return early. Playing more for depth. Then for precision on the lines and just really nice plus one tennis from him. 15 off here from Kessler, and you worry what a break of serve might do for Kessler should he go down in this game.
you see the head shape from Kessler. He'll take a couple of return errors from Coy Simon. Now has three game points. Here, 40-15 to kick off our second set. And he'll take it. Another first serve landed in the box. Another hold of serve for McLean Kessler. A little bit of a shake of the head. He knows, again, he made that first set a little bit more difficult on himself than he needed to. Down a set, but certainly not out in this match. He holds for the one love lead, and now it's Koi Simon. And if you're Simon, just stick to your plays. Stay calm. You didn't do anything particularly flashy to win that first set, right? Everything that Koi Simon did in set number one feels replicable here in set two. Take advantage of second serves when Kessler is forced to hit them. Take advantage of a high first serve percentage. Mix up your targets. Play, you know, plus one tennis. Continue to move forward whenever the opportunity presents itself. I think he was three for three on service points with his right hand. So don't be afraid to mix that in every now and again here in this second set as well. A lot to like about the game of young Koi Simon here. Second serve to kick off his first surface game of the second set. Just missed on that lob. And if you're McLean Kessler, you love the look of that point. Long, physical. You're the one dictating from the center. Fifteen all now.
I mean, that's the McLean Kessler experience for you all in a nutshell, folks. The guy is never going anywhere. He's going to fight for every set, every point, every game, in every match he plays. And in that game, he did such a good job of just making that extra ball, focusing more on depth of his shot than, you know, the pace of it or the direction of it and just putting some pressure on young Koi Simon, making him stay on his back foot, not letting him step up as easily. And that's how it takes a two-love lead here to kick off our second set. Now you do wonder, is that a wake-up call for Koi Simon? What will we see him do here? And if you're Kessler, you made the first serve, you had the plus one forehand on that point that's the recipe in your service games you have to make more first serves but if you're Simon you have to stay aggressive you can't get tentative now just because you face a little bit of scoreboard pressure love 15 here yeah it's a really smart play there from Simon even if he misses that half volley you just force pressure, to, uh, force your opponent there, Kessler, to make a really tough pass. And he came up with a pretty good one. Got that ball at the feet of Koi Simon, but Simon just able to get his racket out, stick the half volley over the net. Here we go. Love 30. Yeah, if this set goes against McLean Kessler's, you see the racket leave his hand. That's a point he'll remember. Both of these first two side points, love 50, uh, the love love point and the love 30 point. Kessler had the plus one forehands he wanted. The first one, he yanks a little bit wide. That one, just off the net tape, allows Simon to get back into the match. And it's not a break until you consolidate it. And right now, Koi Sam and Scott. Four break points to ensure McCain Kessler cannot consolidate his break. Yep, that's money. I do like the change up from Kessler there. Disrupt the rhythm of Simon, hit the serve and volley, but it's a really nice plus one return from plus one return and passing shot combo from Koi Simon. He breaks back, and we're back on serve here in the second set. One, two. You are watching the Crack Rackets Winter National Singles Final here at the Rome Tennis Center in Georgia. Listen up, tennis fans. The new Tennis Channel Podcast Network takes you inside the sport like never before with the top tennis podcasts all in one place. To subscribe, go to tennis.com slash podcasts or visit your favorite podcast provider. Back here at the Rome Tennis Center in Georgia, 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 court, a great shot. Koi Simon serving here on serve one, two in the second set. First drop shot we've seen from Simon on the day. He has been so relentless in pounding the corners, getting Kessler stretched. So I really like that change of speed here from him. And again, the story of the match has been the ambidextrous 18-year-old from South Carolina, freshman at the University of Tennessee. He's posing his will, really, on Kessler thus far in this match. Now, I know 
one two scoreline. It's tight, and it has been a tight match. This is not to disrespect the performance of McLean Kessler, who, of course, will fight with the best of them, but feels like as Simon's made winners, the match has gone his direction. And that's really nice, aggressive play from Kessler. That's really one of the first times we've seen him step inside the baseline, take that forehand. Hasn't had the chance to incorporate his usual dose of variety because Simon's done such a good job of keeping him out of the center of the court. Another big first serve there into the Kessler backhand. So now 15 all. Excuse me, 30 also now, 30 40 break point chance again for McLean Kessler here at the start of our second set. Notice how he stepped into a couple of forehands in this game, had the opportunity to dictate. You see his footwork on the return. He starts at the baseline, tries to take that ball as far inside the court as he can. Two break point chances now for Kessler to retake that break lead here in the second set. I mean, that's phenomenal. And that's the serve Simon has turned to throughout this match when he's in trouble. On that ad side, lefty slice wide. To play the plus one forehand cross court if it goes to the right side of his body down the line if it goes to the left side of his body and then either that high forehand volley or overhead that's textbook stuff it's really really good and that's how you fight off a break point so now deuce point break point chance for both of these guys Kessler saying hey I returned on the deuce side in doubles give me the deuce side in singles as well I think we're going to see body T serve here from Simon. Come on. Physical stuff from McLean Kessler to get the break back. And he now takes a 3-1 lead here in our second set. And again, just good depth with his return, not letting Simon get into his patterns, dictate from the baseline at all in that game. Now, of course, we saw Kessler start out the second set in a very similar fashion. Simon was able to break back right away. We've talked all match long about how important that first serve is for Kessler. Misses the first serve here on the opening point. We'll see what Simon's able to do. Yeah, if you're McLean Kessler, you'll take it. Right ball to hit if you're Koi Simon. It's just a tough one to execute. That is the highest part of the net, that inside-in forehand. First time we've seen him really try to hit the lefty forehand and emphasize it. 15 love Kessler. You 
can almost hear that extra little confidence in the pop of the Kessler forehand right now. Good play from him to build this 30-love lead. You know, tennis scholars have debated for years whether there's such a thing as a good miss. I'd argue that was a good miss. The fact that Kessler's looking to move forward, play that forehand aggressively. We didn't see enough of that in set number one. Helps when you've got a big lead in the game, but I like that play from Kessler. Don't like that one as much. The first slice forehand, fine. Play with that variety. That second one, you just had so much time there. Ball just kind of tailed on him at the end. And that's how quickly 30 love can become 30 all, folks. And so again, it's not a breaking till you consolidate serve. But that is nasty stuff from McLean Kessler. Two game points for him now, 40-30 here, as he tries to take a 4-1 lead in set number two. Fist pump from Kessler. Frustrated long return from Koi Simon. You can understand that frustration. His level has dipped over the course of these past three games, and it's McLean Kessler taking advantage of that fact. He leads 4-1 here in our second set. You are watching the Crack Rackets Winter Nationals at the beautiful Rome Tennis Center in Georgia. Listen up, tennis fans. The new Tennis Channel Podcast Network takes you inside the sport like never before. With the top tennis podcasts all in one place. To subscribe, go to tennis.com slash podcasts or visit your favorite podcast provider. Simon not happy with himself with that start double fault for Love 15 here in his 1-4 service game. Now, of course, Simon, a 7-5 first set winner in our men's final here. As he takes on McLean Kessler, but that's more like it if you're Simon, that aggressive plus one forehand looking to move in as soon as possible in the rally. That's what we saw him have so much success doing in set number one. Here in set two, it's been Kessler really dictating the terms of play, making sure rallies go eight, nine, ten shots deep and just not letting Simon have those opportunities to move forward like he did in the first set. 15 all here now as the ball rolls back. Safety first.
but another double fault. You just you see it in the legs, the in the body language. It's an uninspired Corey Simon right now to put things lightly. And of course, again, it's a big physical demand to ask an eighteen year old to hang with a veteran like Kessler, so fit. Every time he flashes those abs, we see them, McLean. All eight of them. So here for Simon, it's just about something, finding something to hang your head on as you potentially face down the gauntlet of a third set. That's good plus one tennis. That's the recipe. It's now big 30 all point here. And again, you hold now your one breakdown in this set. You can still win this in straights if you are Koi Sami. You just need to find a little momentum here. Great wheels from Kessler, but if it's target practice for Simon, I'd like him in this matchup every time. And now 40-30, two game points for Simon here to sort of stem the bleeding. Get us back to 2-4 here in set number two. Third double fault of the game for Coy Smith. Inopportune time. If you're the young South Carolinian. So now deuce point, game point, break point, triple threat here for McLean Kessler. Ad side is what he picks. That's a sloppy error. If you're Kessler, you can see you've got Smith a little bit down on himself. Got to keep that ball in play. Cannot make that forehand error be a center third error in the net. If you're Coy Smith, Smith, excuse me. If you are Coy Simon, you are excited. I mean, you are thrilled that you got the unforced error from McCain Kessler here. And now, again, is there anything Kessler has done in this match to make you think he's a lock to hold serve right now? It's a really nice plus one forehand, but you saw Simon track that ball down. And then, you know, we've seen kessler push a couple of those plus one plus two forehands wide when he's had to be aggressive so good love 15 start here if you're koi simon and now you get a look at a second serve as well and unofficial stats have simon winning about 60 percent of the second serve points so we'll see what happens Grunt change midpoint for Kessler. Gets the job done. Thought he did a really good job of going down the line there, using his fitness to cut those balls off early. Draws the error from Simon, now 15 all.
Yeah, if you're Kessler, you'll take it. Not the prettiest look, but gets you 2-5-2 nevertheless. And so it will be Koi Simon serving to stay alive here in set number two when we get back. Really fun men's singles final. Hope you've all been enjoying it as well. You are watching the Cracked Rackets Winter Nationals at the beautiful Rome Tennis Center in Georgia. Listen up, tennis fans. The new Tennis Channel Podcast Network takes you inside the sport like never before. With the top tennis podcasts all in one place. To subscribe, go to tennis.com slash podcasts or visit your favorite podcast provider. Serving issues continuing to plague Koi Simon here down the home stretch of set number two. Three double faults in his last game. Was able to escape with a hold of serve here. Another double fault to open up this 2-5 service game. Not that anyone ever needs to tell McLean Kessler this, but you have to imagine he's thinking just make the return deep to the center of the court play to big targets focus on depth more than location i think the biggest change in this second set has been the lack of ease simon's had when looking for plus one opportunities to attack kessler did a much better job both with his own plus one ball on his serve plus with his return of serve Too cute for his own good there, though. Good read from Simon. Sneak in behind his own shot. Just cut off the angles. Plenty of time to drive boot through that ball if you're McLean Kessler. But that's why you build the 5-2 lead, folks. And now it's 30-15 here for course Koi Simon. I agree with you, McLean. Look on your face. You know it was out. I agree. Thought it was a little bit long. Nevertheless, no line judges here. We give him the gentleman's benefit of the doubt. So 40-15, triple game point for Corey Simon, 4-3-5. Forehand pass down the line, gets the job done, and now it will be McLean Kessler serving to send us to the third set. 5-3 here. It is worth noting. Kessler's really struggled on his second serve throughout this match. Given the ambidextrous nature of Koi Simon, which I know we've talked about a lot, but can never talk about enough. Someone's got two forehands in their arsenal. That's the story of the match of the day. But the other story has been Koi Simon's ability to take advantage of and take the aggressive posture in the points with his return of serve. Kessler landed the first serve there, but even then... 
point pretty much on Simon's racket, had the down the line shot he was looking for, just overcooked it. Three points away now for McLean Kessler. There it is. It had been too long since we'd seen one of those folks. You know Kessler is feeling it when he goes for the drop shot. He lands the backhand dropper. Awfully useful, folks. And now he's two points away from taking the set 6-3. Yep, a little bit wide there. 40 love now, quadruple set point for McLean Kessler. It looks like we'll be going the distance here in our men's singles final. And folks, we wouldn't have it any other way. Volley floats a little bit wide from Coy Simon, and it's McLean Kessler fighting back to take the second set 6-3 and force a third here in our Cracked Rackets Winter Nationals Men's Singles Final. We will be back with that third set breaker right after this break. But for now, you are watching the CR Winter Nationals at the beautiful Rome Tennis Center in Georgia. Welcome in, everyone. Third set tiebreaker to decide our Crack Rackets Winter Nationals men's singles final. It's Coy Smith with the big forehand plus one winner to get things started. He leads one love now. Super producer Daniel Westoff yelling at me. I've done this a couple of times in the match. Coy Simon with the one love winner. The ambidextrous Simon taking a 7-5 first set through a combination of just relentless aggression and quality net play. Simon ambidextrous, four hands off both wings, able to serve with both hands as well. But really saw his level of play fall off in the second set. McLean Kessler, the former University of Florida All-American, his opponent, doubles finalist earlier today. It's making the match physical, extending rallies, an extra two, three, four shots. But I've said it all match. When Simon chooses to move forward, 
Match is on his racket. Now, he was a little bit tentative there with that approach shot, and that's not the tentativeness we saw. You know, in the first set, he was so decisive, but got to give credit to McLean Kessler as well. Just kind of that nagging thorn in your side, right? He's the paper cut of tennis players, just always going to linger, going to make that extra ball. Down a mini break here early, but if we know anything about McLean Kessler, we know this match far from over. 2-1 Simon here, second serve. I'm telling you, in the first set, probably six, seven shots before he made that error, Koi Simon tries to move forward to the net on one of those balls. He's not doing that in the back half of this match, and that is what has led to the errors we have seen of late. It's really hard physically to hang with McLean Kessler. He's going to find that random on-the-run slice or drop shot or running forehand slap down the line, and just make things tough on you. So now, two all here. Mini break back to Kessler. We're on serve in our third set breaker. That's what I'm talking about. One could argue he could have moved in behind that first approach, but even though it took an extra forehand, just so much space to work with there for Koi. That's a really good play by him to win the point. He now takes a 3-2 lead here on serve in the third set breaker. In case it's your first third set breaker, they're playing to 10, win by 2. Switch sides every 6 points. That is nasty from Koi Simon. Mini break back in his pocket. 4-2 as we make our first switch of ends here. Again, for Simon, freshman at the University of Tennessee. Dual match season on the horizon. We can only imagine how much this would help the young man's confidence heading into that season. Should he get a win here today over the former All-American in Kessler? If you're McLean Kessler, you don't want to lose to the fresh blood. So I feel like 4-2 mini breakdown. This is sort of exactly where Kessler likes to be. So we'll see what we have left here in this third set breaker. Kessler, one more serve before he gives it back to... Ooh. First call where a little bit of a question between the two. Again, they've given each other the benefit of the doubt. It's far side from the stream. Yeah. <laughs> 
do. Literally As we know, the ball does not lie. It's a really nice point from McLean Kessler unloading on that forehand in the outer third of the court. You can tell both these guys starting to feel it a little bit physically. The huffing and puffing certainly taking off here. In set number three, again, mini break lead right now for Koi Simon, 4-3. And you want to know why I don't question the calls? Could have called that ball out. I don't think it was, but you could have. If you're McLean Kessler, what's he going to do? Appeal to the line judge? No, there is no line judge. But it's an honor system here at this UTR event. That's what UTR inspires. Honor, dignity, class. It's damn good tennis. 5-3 now for Simon. That is such, such good tennis from both of these guys. No doubt how much this title would mean to each of these players here. Physical tennis down the home stretch. McLean Kessler getting the mini break of serve back again. 4-5 now he trails in this third set break. A reminder up to 10. Win by 2. Still plenty of action to go. But this has been the story of this match. Simon races out to an early lead. Kessler plays catch up, has to make the match physical right where he wants to be. First serve, so important here at 4 5. Come on! Come on! Let's go! Yeah. Simon Let's kicking go. himself there. He had that volley on his racket, and again. He's really been put in good positions whenever he moves forward. It's a missed overhead here, the missed volley there. Two of his few lost points when he approaches the net. But if you're Koi Simon, you're frustrated you've lost these last two points. But really nice point construction there on that last one. Now that's just a frustrated error. Give yourself some margin. Give yourself some room to play here. First time in this breaker, Kessler's taking the lead now. 6-5, he's up. Change events after this point. If you're McLean Kessler, you can feel it now. Just make a return here deep into the court. We've seen that happen a couple of times now. Kessler's had the second look at passes, short forehands that you like to think to yourself six, seven out of ten times he puts away, but those three other occasions have all come in this match. Great anticipation from Koi Simon. Six all now. We're even as we make the turn. Is it, is it possible to not have goosebumps at this point? Six all. 
third set breaker, cracked rackets, winter nationals, Sunday afternoon, beautiful Rome Tennis Center, little SEC conference battle. Does get much better than this, folks. Simon to serve here. One more serve for him. Six all in the third set breaker. When Koi Simon moves forward, he has success. Rinse, repeat that statement. 7 6 now. He leads. Another one of those scholarly debated good misses. I hate to say it. I love the aggression from Koi Simon. Do you think to yourself, how do you not put a return on the court at 7-6 up in the third set breaker? Yeah, you probably think to yourself, but that's when he's had his opportunities to attack and when he's had his most success when he's playing attacking tennis. So I'm sorry, Coach, Coach Woodruff. I like the error from him. Don't like that error as much. And it's Kessler now up 8-7 here in the third set breaker it's a pick em at this point folks both guys more than deserving of this title we'll see who's got the chops the serve has definitely abandoned Simon a bit down the stretch here of this match Yeah, I mean, uh, I love it. I love point construction from Simon. I'd argue he should have moved in behind that first forehand because he would have had a floating high forehand a volley, but it's just really good foot speed from Kessler now, and he's got himself two match points to take home the title. That is Huevos, folks. Juan Martin Del Potro's that forehand down the line. Fights off a match point. 9-8 Kessler. One serve for all the marbles. Will change ends after this point if Simon's able to take it. I'm telling you now, folks, watch the T here. I think that's where he goes again. That's the side you got to target. Oh. Kessler may have hit that serve 60 miles per hour, but in the end, he draws the forehand volley error from Koi Simon, and it's McLean Kessler. 5-7, 6-3, 10-8 in the third. He takes our Crack Rackets Winter Nationals event. Koi Simon, what a performance from the Florida All-American. Of course, we want to thank all of you who took the time to stay with us. But for our wonderful Crack Rackets team, our friends at the Rome Tennis Center, and all of us here on the stream, I'm your host, Alex Gruskin. You've been watching the Crack Rackets Winter Nationals at the beautiful Rome Tennis Center in Georgia.